itself but if it's okay for you I don't care you can have it really 100 frames so I believe 300 to 360 is a good duration um, then what we want to do is just to customize this land a bit so drag this here 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 and fit this into window okay so the first thing you want to do is create a rectangle a rectangle like this yes then you copy it and paste it and you want to drag the copy to another point then you want to copy it again and paste it drag this copy and then you want to hold the uh, alt button no sorry um, uh, the control is it control oh, sorry so it doesn't really matter which button but I believe it's a no I'll tell you which button is it you wanna hold the shift button if you will um, make it bigger because shift button allows you shift button allows you that you bigger your size and your height uh, for the same percent if you know what I mean so that you get really really nice shape I over, um, over exaggerated a bit so here the next thing is to make the text here so what I'll write is this is layer a test um, the color is why I can't see anything but as you can see here we have the text the thing we're going to do now is play with the values a little with the colors and the those things yes so here um, we're going to choose the normal point and search the text you can change the font you can scale it you can make it bigger but I just think I'll just scale it a bit because I think it's uh, a bit more that would that should should do it yes this okay so you can go to, to style to lines you can change everything but now I'll just play with this you can use face but in my tutorial I said I'll make the outline as you see I recently made um, a production logo so that is why all the values here um, the values with the values I mean colors are the same you go and you change it um, but I choose this color of course you can make glow you can make shadows but in this tutorial we'll be just making the outlines for a text of course then you choose the other text where is it where did I put it here of course you can search the layers and see all the layers you have I have them right here yes they're here ah no, no sorry sorry about that uh, you go to layers and to make this easier switching you just click here of course we'll do the same thing here we're going to resize it a bit wow, okay. 
uh, no, no, but we're not going to resize it. Of course, the effect I believe it's pretty much the same. You want to make it bigger, a little, a little smaller. Yeah, that shall, yeah, well, it's a bit smaller. Uh, that shall do it. So here, go to style again. What we want to do now is go to the outline, change color to to to. Uh, I think, I think it was it was white. Yes, it was white. The color was white in this outline. We want to reposition this, and that's it. And now we go back to the letters. Choose the third text. Now, sorry about that. Choose the first text. I play with the values a little more. Make this to 185. That's kind of nice. Good style. And the outline of this should be red, which I remembered now. Um, this one uh, should be yeah, should be yellow. This one should be yellow. So now we have the text here. What you can do is you can arrange your layers into the groups, which helps you. But we're not going to do this in this tutorial because it will take too, it would take too much time, and I'm sure. You know how to make this, to make groups. So now we have here our text. The next thing we want to do is click the rectangle number one. Uh, this one is the correct color. And then we go to the rectangle number two. And now we go to the here. Inspector automatically switches the modes for in each element, of course. And what you want to do is change the fill color to 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 red, to, to color like this, Sorry. to color like this one. I didn't make it. Ha! Huh, to color like this. This is color STP. From here is color STP. Interesting. So this is now. Then we we want the first triangle and go to the copy and then the copy one of course which is the last we have and then go to the fill and choose black the thing we want to do here is make an outline and we want to make it yellow and we want to make it 2.5 white so now we go to this one we click the outline, we we'll make it red, and we go to the third one, we go to the outline, sorry about that, and we want to make it blue, yes, that's the correct thing. We'll do what we are making now. That's kind of nice. What we want to do here on this text uh, is change its color to D. Yeah, make this. It has no face. That's the thing. So, this is the number. The part one of this tutorial and in next part we'll do the animation of these cubes.